A few days ago, I received a phone call from a woman in Pennsylvania. While hunting, her husband was mistaken for a Sasquatch and almost shot to death. And they say that facial hair abuse doesn't hurt anybody. When will we learn? I have your test result, John. It's positive. You do carry a strain of the Yeti gene on your DNA. This puts you at tremendous risk for facial hair abuse. John, this is a hydrovention, so my question for you is, are you ready to get some help? For centuries, weary travelers have reported sightings of yetis, sasquatches, chupacabras, and now baseball cap wearing bears. Scientists believe that these sad creatures were born of razor neglect. At least now, we can cross one of them off the list. Three hours, proud and clean shaven. And that's no urban myth. If you know anyone in danger of morphing into a mythical werebeast of legend, log on and stage a hydrovention today. Thank you.